a poem. I only want you. I want to have hummus with you. I want to tour Canada with you. I want to make you happy. I want to polish your green peen. I want to split a bottle of penicillin with you. I want to move to a studio apartment in your city so I can show up unannounced. I want to sit outside your house at 4 a.m. and blast Melissa Etheridge music. I want to file false, false charges against you so I can manipulate you. I want to carry on like this all I want, like I'm 15. What, uh, what, what are you doing? I'm creating art, ac actually. Creating art? This is, my new single is going to drop. You what? Oh, God. He'll get it later. I want to be for you the best side chick that you never claimed. everyone, I'm Steve. Mark's around. Say hi, Mark. Hey, everybody. And this is Smokey Steve and Mark. Either welcome or welcome back and happy Saturday. It is the weekend and it is coffee talk, but I was having some water with a little Mio in it before. Well, it's not Mio. It's like one of those hippy dippy stevia. I'd be better off with Kool-Aid. It tastes better. But anyway, I hope you are well. I hope you are safe. Look after each other. Look after yourselves. Today, we're going to revisit our fair lady, Chantal. Chantal Marie, Foodie Beauty, Big Beautiful Me, The Daily Chantal, Chantopolis, The Beezer Show, and Foodie Beauty again. Now, we were live last week, so thank you to everybody who came and chatted. It's always a good time. Um, had, I had a good time. I hope the people who were in the chat did, too. So, basically, we were just catching up on some old drama from over the week. The doctor's note... Um, this is stuff going back a couple weeks. Doctor's note, there's probably a couple other lies in there. Um, a drunken, I love you, you know, things like that. So what I wanted to talk about today was kind of where things are at with her. I broke it into a few points and then see which direction this might go. And Mark's going to be joining us to share some thoughts. Right, Mark? Yep, her. He will. Okay. So I wanted to start, not necessarily in order, but in order of like, yeah with her. So I'm going to start from stuff that's more mild, probably up to the stuff that's a little more serious. So her Tinder guys that she dates, these Tinder men, who she, I'm inclined to say she makes up just so. She went yeah. for the, she went for a drive to go see one of them and then blew him off and blocked him. Um, it seemed to happen again too, but these are not dates. These are part of her trying to get back at Natter because Natter's with Dee Dee which, of course, is only being done to make Chantal jealous. There's absolutely no other reason they could possibly like each other. That's what a lot of people think about her, you know, but so be it. Um, I think it's sad, kind of, with the men that she makes up on Tinder. I get it. You know, it's everyone wants to feel special and important. And yeah, if you're fighting with an ex in an adult relationship, you may choose to poorly communicate dissatisfaction by sleeping with strangers. Um, that's her call. She can, she can do that. Um, but it ties into her not wanting people to be too much in her business. You know, again, we had this week reiterated. I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to bring it up anymore. Two days later, she got a bottle of rosé. I love him more than you can understand. She's a messy drunk. She's a messy drunk. Cuba? Cuba? She's a messy drinker because she thinks she has it together and she's not drunk. She thinks that she's not impaired in any way. And so stuff flies out of her mouth, like in the Cuba rant, because she doesn't think she's doing anything wrong. That's the uncensored version of Chantal. That's the level of humanity that is really going on in her head, you know, and how she thinks about herself and other people and their usefulness and manipulating you all tomorrow when you all fall for it. Fewer and fewer people are falling for it. Not a ton. No one's canceling Chantal. She's got 90,000 subs. I don't know what she would need to have to take a big chunk out of those. Um, but making up the relationships is is sad. It reminds me of... Uh, I don't want to be like cr cruel, but, you know, lonely fat girl who wants to have a one-up. So she's rich, you know, and she can pay like she weigh. And, you know, for a guy with a drug problem and no job, that probably looked pretty good. Just saying. Just saying. So doing everything to spite Nat or assuming everything that he's doing is to spite her 
is, I think, a little grand. I think it's a, a very little bit grand for them playing back and forth. I think Chantal is more engaged in this. I think Nader's motives are very simple, though his moves are good. Uh, he wants money, and he wants sex, and he wants praise for the real man that he is. All that stuff. And he got it from her. Um, but... You know, it, when the mask falls off, it makes a thud. Mark, I'll share a little bit about Natter's cooking and kitchen habits later. But when she's saying she's not with him, and then she's not with him, and all of a sudden she has a date, I mean, she had a fight with him. And she comes back into the rage streams. This has been well documented. She rage streams, or she'll come back sometimes, you know, sweetness and light and sad and contrite. And guys, I, I wasn't totally honest. But that's not lying. What's the definition of lying if it's not the truth? You know, the truth and a lie are not sort of the same thing. It's not like I exaggerated the truth. That means you began a lie <laughs> at that point. Lying is lying is lying is lying. And people do. Yes, Chantal. I'm the only one who lies. Everyone on earth lies. Of course they do. It happens, you know. But to take that as free reign to just do it often and say everybody does it. Not everyone does it as often as you. And you invite us into your personal life to watch. So it's... It feels personal. Um, so when you go on a deleting spree after you have a fight with him and come back to the room and say, I can do whatever I want. I can say whatever I want. It's my channel. Yap, 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 yap. You don't like it. Go away. Um, who says someone has to like a channel to watch it? First of all, I don't personally mind watching Chantal because I've seen what's led up to this madness. And at this point, I'm. it's not train wreck appeal exactly, but... Do I kind of like watching someone who I think is lying and being a bad person in that moment in their life, whatever? I, I don't think that's bad to think poorly of a person who does that. Like, I I don't know. So so just just saying is all. Just eh, just saying, just saying is all. Um now going into another thing, because there was discussion last week, there was the police letter, which was cut out completely. Um pretty much, to prove that the charges she received from the pol the police department sent her a letter saying that the charges were dropped, um, or not going to be pursued, you know, there's a lot of legalese. It is funny how many people become lawyers when stuff like that comes out. However, there are people who know about the law. Most of us should, we're accountable for it. <laughs> you know, ignorance of law doesn't mean that you get off scot-free. Um, and one should have known that it was a bad idea to go to the police with a spiteful threat that that was spiteful. And then the old thinking was, well, he has it coming. Who makes Chantal judge jury and, you know, death, <laughs> the guy that puts the bag over your head? Why did she decide that she's YouTube's moral compass above anybody? You know, and she's not telling anyone else how to live their life, but she's got to understand when you make decisions this dumb and this backwards, yes, everyone's been in a toxic, she grand makes it really big. I'm the only one who's ever been in a toxic relationship. Probably not, but it's curious to watch. And in following through, I'm more interested in seeing her get caught in her lies than I am at this point with how she's doing. Because as long as she's playing lip service to every part of her life, nothing. She'll never change. She'll never change. And that's unfortunate. I don't know what would get to her. I don't know. What got to me was, well, I was a drinker. It's a little different. She kind of dabbles in everything. They call them garbage heads. Garbage, unkindly. Uh, people who will just take whatever's in front of them. She's addicted to more, more food, more men, more penicillin, more edibles, more this, more that. Um, fine, whatever, to have like a sketchy life like that. That's fine. No, a lot of people do edibles. Shut up. Shut up. We're not talking about them. We're talking about you in Chantal's world, how things go there. So wasting police time. Here's another thing I felt strongly about because what this turned into was a waste of police time. And the police have been called on these two a few times. That's not normal. That doesn't happen to most people. Even in people in toxic relationships and people in relationships where they're wanting to be the one who's pitied are two different things. They're two very different things. Sorry, I just looked up and she's putting mud on her face. I'm like, oh God, I had her in the background. Cops were called over. She says not by her. This is how she works. The cops weren't called by her. She pulled in front of his house. This was when she had to go get her medical device because she couldn't breathe without it. I'm sure she managed to do a few other things short of breath and lived. 
Um, so she didn't, she went to go back and get it. She went to go see him and Dee Dee was there and she was pissed. So she wanted to get in the door, throws herself up the stairs, tries to kick the door open, put her foot in the way. So he'll talk to her. She wants to get in and see Dee Dee. Look, Dee Dee won. Whatever you win. I mean, she won Natter. So, I mean, that's no big fucking prize, but there's something he likes about her that he doesn't like about Chantal. Chantal's a lot of maintenance. She's a lot of drama. If he's hit a threshold where the two grand a month isn't worth it, yes, it's hard to be in a relationship with someone like that. Um, if you can throw that much money at somebody and still have them want to cut you off, then there's extenuating circumstances ending the relationship. And the fact that it didn't end after your current you know, accusation of sexual assault or domestic violence, um, the reason people don't feel bad for you is because you lied about it. And then changed your statement. I didn't lie. I changed my statement. Well, when you change something from the truth to something else that isn't true, that's a lie. That's a lie. You know, if I, what'd you guys have for dinner last night? Oh, we went to Uber Eats. We got Uber Eats and we stayed home. We had some, you know, a little of this and that. We had pasta. It was good. You know, and Chantal, what did you, oh God, it was like surf and turf. And he was whining and dining me. And he even sprung for half the hotel. Most women. I'm not knocking women or men because, hey, I've had a good time too. But first dates, like, aren't at hotel. It's not a date. It's not a date. A date is like out, public, social. Seeing each other in a different light. Seeing each other interact with the world. I think if Natter had seen how Chantal reacts to the world, he would under, you know, I think he would understand why people feel the way they do. But again, it's, that's all kind of moot because he just wants money from her and he'll give her enough of a wink wink if she'll keep showing up with it. But if she feels let down or, or misled, it's willfully, willfully a hundred percent to do that. So having the police come for the medical device, there was something at a seven 11. I'm going to say, I'm not sure I have that right. So please fact check me in the bottom, um, below and just most people don't have that much police interaction. I had less and I was a raging alcoholic who drove intoxicated. This is nothing proud. It's been about 10 years since all of that. And I've, I've gotten better. My living penance is to not drink again. Uh, but she's met, met, wasting police time, wasting these systems times, going to see a domestic violence counselor or a women's resource center when you know you're making up some of it is just abusing the system. You're wasting people's time for people who really want help. Don't tell me you're, you know, upset and that you don't want to be treated that way and then beg to be reintroduced into that thruple, thruple, whatever the frick it is. I don't know what's going on with them in the bedroom. I honestly don't want to know too, too, too much. Um, but I suspect Chantal's not having it her way right away. Otherwise, she wouldn't be complaining so much. When she said the D was good, she was loving it and said nothing bad about it, even when it was leaking green stuff. And STDs happen. Yes, these things happen to people enough that we have clinics to go get them checked out. Where the part of dishonesty comes in with that is who's lying to who about maybe who had it first and who gave it to who. And she's pathetic enough or uninformed enough, probably both, to buy all those vaginal cleanliness products, Vagisil and other stuff like that, because she thought him, she's a dirty girl. So she thought dirty, I'll clean myself up, I'll get hygiene. It's like, no, no, there's a very different sentiment towards that in a cultural context. Um, but you know, she doesn't really, he doesn't care. If the money's green, she can come over bald, blue, in blackface. He's not gonna say anything because she's probably paying for the drugs, <laughs> so. All right. So, so um, when you're talking about the truth and, and the truth and a lie, again, are not, not the same thing. They're not close. That's what makes it a lie. It's an entirely different set of facts slapped onto some original ones. Saying I exaggerated is like saying that you took a post-it or one of your songs, you know, and oh, it was on the top 100 hits in Bulgaria or something. <laughs> Don't lie, don't exaggerate. Yeah, your your song was on YouTube because you sang it, but it doesn't mean anything to anyone. The things that are priorities to her and that she thinks people are jealous of in her life, she doesn't get. 
shouldn't get. People aren't jealous even of the money, even though that's a hard one, because a lot of people are. And even part of me would go, God, if I could just sit there and bitch and moan three hours a day, I could make 20 grand a month. But then my life is sitting in front of a phone bitching and moaning. You know, I'm, well, aside from Mark and Bandon and Oscar outside, you know, I'm here by myself. And when she's home and pizza's in his bedroom because she hasn't checked on him, I'm sure she should check for a smell at this point. Because, you know, um, I don't get it. I mean, it's, it's, it's no kind of friend that I'd want to have who acted like that. You know, and Chantal has a funny moment every so often. And I said, she's probably the kind of girl I would have hung out with in college. She was, you know, flighty, funny, um, allegedly promiscuous, you know, a whole lot of fun, but a whole lot of drama. And I would have known that even at that age that, yeah, she's your friend, but she's drama. She's going to come with drama. As an adult, I don't seek relationships like this because it's I'm almost 40. So I don't look to play cat and mouse with anybody. I'm in a relationship at the moment. But, and forever, I'm getting married, actually. I say in the moment as to juxtapose to her, who's never in one, but likes to talk about every guy she runs into like he's head over feet for her. I don't know where she gets mail order. I don't know where she meets these fucking guys, but that's her. So spinning into that, again, going off of wasting police time into making accusations about domestic violence and sexual assault that are exaggerated is not okay. Does Natter have something coming for him? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he does. But it's not a spite set of charges from someone who got their butt hurt because they came in second. And I don't like to even talk about relationships like that, but it's all a game to them. As far as Chantal says, that they just play these games back and forth. Like it's a version of, um, what was that movie with... Uh, Oh, the cute guy. He was really, really cute. She was like one of the witches or something. Anyway, um, there was some... cruel intentions, cruel intentions. If this was a chat, it would have showed up already. It's like a greasier version of that with people in, you know, well, not all of them are in bigger clothes. Natter's not. But making that kind of stuff up diminishes it from other people who report assaults. It makes people not be taken as seriously. And this topic specifically, it's hard for men, women, to come out, admit, and ask for help for something so bad. And to sit there and ignore that I'm making up some of it, and won't say what some, but some of it, and still sitting there knowing, knowing that you're not going to follow through with this. You're wasting everybody's time. Using institutions to get people jammed up is, like, vindictive shit. That's spiteful. You know, you she can't keep that much spite and still say she wants to be with them. I mean, and why is she mad at Dee Dee? Natter's the one who picked her. Dee Dee stole him away. First of all, you're not bragging on yourself by saying Dee Dee stole him away. Dee Dee seems nice and whatever, and she's, you know, a, a good looking person. Uh, but, I, I mean, I've never seen Natter dress up in her fat clothes, but. So, I, I think with the Dee Dee thing, the best thing is to just, like, let it go. Just let it go. Um, this is going to haunt her. She will never not, she will never stop bringing this up that she thinks they slept together. She will never stop. And she's too jealous and insecure because she knows what a cheater she is. So when someone is a lousy cheater, they imagine other people could be doing the same thing or are doing the same thing to normalize their own shittiness. So it's like, well, what, I don't know, whatever. It's, it's no big, no, no, it's not okay. Lying will get you shit on. It, it comes back. It always comes back. It always comes back. Unless we learn a little something and behave a little differently. Um, it doesn't have to be anything grand, but, you know, her channel was taken down for a short period of time and she was a little, well, she was not humble. She was scamming. Anyone seen anything on OnlyFans recently? Anybody else who paid a lot of money for other subscription services she's not going to follow up with? Because all she wanted to do was collect some money up front. For it, and now that she's back into her reindeer games with him, there's enough people still dumb enough in the VIB group. I don't mean to come call you dumb, but what else can I call it? That someone can straight up say to you, I, I exaggerated, I lied about it. And people say, it's your life. You go, girl. You're shit, too. If you, <laughs> if you support that, you're shit, too. And I don't want to live in your community. Um, so where are we at? The DD thing. That was the last point I wanted to make. Um, we're going to bring in Mark for a little bit, and Mark's going to talk a little bit about, you know, we talk about drug and alcohol, Mark's the resident expert, but Mark is also a retired chef. 
and there's some cooking that goes on on her channel and on his channel. So Mark was just going to share a few, you know, things that he wanted to say and um, give some impressions of what the week looked like, I guess. So, Mark? Yeah? Could you come here, dearest? Yes, I can. You better look out. Mark's tough. Come da, hither, da, come da, hither, come I hither. I have hithered. I've, I've hithered. You, Hello. <laughs> Y'all know Mark. Hey, everybody. So we just caught up on some of the bullet points from the last, like, week, week and a half, talking yeah. about um, some of the bigger reveals that we had. One, which was not shocking, but I can't believe she admitted to, was lying about sexual assault. <gasps> or exaggerating, of course. She lied about that? I know. I was I was stumped, too. But, um... So we talked about that, the other guy she's seeing, how she's kind of a waste of police time, and she's never going to let Dee Dee off the hook for doing probably nothing. Right. But that's going to happen. Right. Now, at the same time, she was, I'm so hyper and you're going to get it in a couple videos, plus the booze. Yeah. And she's yeah. a messy oh. drinker. Oh, isn't she, though? With the bottle of rosé, like, oh. I was going to do that for the intro to the intro, but we already had one where I was getting drunk. <laughs> right? <laughs> I was in Cuba. <laughs> So, any set of eyes on this? Another set of eyes on what's been going oh, on? Oh, gosh. I don't know. Well, I usually, like, you know, kind of give my two cents on the whole drug thing, you know? Yeah. Um, but and, and, and I will, because it's obviously, I mean, it's still going on, you mm -hmm. know? I mean, I, you know, this... Okay, so, all the behaviors have continued, if not got worse. In my opinion, they've gotten a little bit worse this week. The lies, the manipulation, the mm. lie, like, oh, oh, yeah, the manipulation and the lies all tied up into one. Like, uh, that one, I, 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 the live stream where she was, like, talking about, oh, if one of my VIBs died, I would be so upset. I don't know what I would do. Do we remember when her grandmother passed away? Okay. She, the, she yeah. She didn't care at all. After she swore on her on her grave, yes, she did. But then said grandma would understand. Yeah, grandma would understand. And and this is after claiming that she was her grandmother's caretaker too. You know, bringing her groceries and meals and being a very very important part in her grandmother's life. And when asked what her grandmother's favorite meal was, she didn't. Yeah, she didn't no. even know. I mean, this is this that's is, how many meals she brought her. This is this is again manipulation. You know, this is, this is, it goes into those behaviors again. Mm -hmm. The house is still, still disgusting. I had to share this shot. Um, she fits right in, doesn't she? <laughs> I mean, you know, it, all of that is, is, is continuing to go on and something is, is bound to give, you know, mm -hmm. it, it's, it's going to happen and uh, it's going to happen and it's going to affect her, her, her life. It's going to affect mm -hmm. her health. It's mm -hmm. going to affect everybody around her as it is already. Mm -hmm. You know, she has to get a little bit of self-respect. I mean, this is, this, this, mm -hmm. what we're watching now is so pathetic, you know? Um, I, I don't understand how people can still defend her and, and all of this, unless they're just kind of like what we're doing, sitting back and, and watching, watching this show. show. Yeah, I don't have a moral investment in Chantal. I, I we're, don't either. We're right. not friends. Right, you know? right. <laughs> but this is much different than watching your favorite soap opera on TV. This is a human being this whose is... actions have consequences Act in real life. Yep, yep, exactly. This is supposed real life. Now, all this crap that's going on, is it exaggerated? Is it true? Is it false? Only she knows, you know, for for, for a fact, only she knows. Mm -hmm. But I believe it's a combination of all of it with a real heavy emphasis on exaggerated. You know, she's, you know, I, like, he she stepped on her knows, toe, turns yeah. into a sodomy charge. Oh, oh absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I think I have some notes written down I wanted to, you know, say about that, but I can't even read my writing right now, you know. You're just so overtaken. I'm so overwhelmed. <laughs> it's so hor It's so awful. Like, it's getting extremely difficult to watch her. I start getting angry now. Mm -hmm. And I never really got angry watching her. And now I'm like, this... And him. You know, Matter. this relationship, this so-called supposed relationship, lest we forget how this relationship started. Talking about manipulation, lies, self-respect, and drugs. Yes, Molly, cocaine, meth, marijuana, alcohol, all 
On the first date. On the first date. And then, she, uh, it, it, you, you can correct me in the comments below, but I believe she even offered him money right off the bat. I think he said he had to go to work or something like that. And she says, I'll just give you money so you don't have to go to work. It was something like that. Mm. So this type of stuff started from day one. And, um, you know, what a solid foundation for a nice, healthy, long-term relationship, as we've seen this last year. Narcotics and... Casual sex. It is just, it is so... And then we end up with a social disease and we wonder why. And we wonder why, right. And then, you know, she's so much in love, she can't help it. And then, you know, these mood swings that were very evident this week. It all ties into the drug use. It, it then, You know, it is still going on and something's going to happen. Now, you know, like you said earlier in the, mm -hmm. in the video, now he, you know, she looks like a sweet deal to him because... Money, drugs, whatever, sex, but, whatever. Else. Yeah, but what he, I think is still not kind of grasping is the the constant nagging, the constant mm -hmm. her presence in his life all the time. Yeah, you know? she's not online talking about him. She's at his house. Exactly, like, exactly right. And like, I don't understand this infatuation with this. I'm trying to find the right word. Man, we'll just say man, I loosely. guess. Loosely. We'll yeah, call him we'll man. Loosely, man. I don't understand it. He has no redeeming qualities about him. And, and again, this is just my opinion. Um, you know, he claims to be a chef, a, a seasoned, experienced chef. And I went back through some of his videos because I never really watched them all the way through. I, I just couldn't because I really, he doesn't, I don't like him. Um, and... Uh, I'm appalled. I am, you know, I have worked in the restaurant industry for 30 years. Um, and I can actually, I, I can back what I do, you know. Um, but the lying and manipulation is not just with her. It's with him too. You know, he, he, this is not, this is not, <laughs> this is not an accredited chef here. Okay. Like he claims mm -hmm. to be. Mm -hmm. And look, you want to make videos, cooking videos and stuff and have fun, you know, and all that. That's great. You don't have to have chef skills. You don't have to do that. But for God's sake, don't act so righteous and so smug and lie about it when you are doing nothing but putting other people in danger. Yes, you are. Because the way you hold your knives, the way you prepare your foods, the way you store your foods, the way you cross-contaminate everything, you're going to get somebody hurt. Because there are people who watch this that may not know how to cook, that may not know these things, you know, and that's what gets me. If you're going to do that, at least do it properly, you know, at least, at least have a little bit of humility about it, at least have, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, like I'm, I'm a home cook. I've worked in the kitchen for a couple years when I was a kid and I yeah. would do prep stuff like peel potatoes. Peel this. I suspect that's the kind of job he had was prep cooking. I was thinking that myself. Maybe a line cook somewhere that they hired him for three weeks and then find out he can't cook. On the deep frying side. He could like deep fry. Something. He could deep fry yeah. and maybe make toast. Yeah, like you that. Know, salads. But, <laughs> it, you know, people would like you so much more if you were just humble and honest about it. At least you as know? far as his career goes. Right. I, yeah. I I do not and it's not a cultural thing. These aren't like these aren't like, oh well we don't do it that way in Egypt. It's not like uh, food safety is food safety. It just is. Mm -hmm. And especially if you're saying you're an accredited chef. These things like making hollandaise sauce, this is like Week one in culinary school, okay? And they beat it in your head your entire time. That, Like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I mean, did you see that sauce? It was pasty. It was a lot of flour for a And, uh, you know, it should be nice yeah. and smooth. Well, we won't we won't get into, like, the technical stuff of it. But, yeah. you know, that's what gets me about him. His just, his, he's so smug and big man in your face when he cannot back anything that he does. He cannot even hold a knife properly well and maybe sometimes <laughs> maybe sometimes that's a good one yes yes okay i stand corrected there mm -hmm. Ooh. <laughs> when he wants to we can find a target yes right so anyway anyway my point is is that you know um this entire this entire foodie beauty thing dd natter foodie all of it it, you you just cannot believe what you see and you you know it's all lies manipulation and um uh, I, I think that it is part set up 
for views, obviously, mm -hmm. views and money. And um, I, I think it's a pathetic situation. I do believe that the drug use is continuing on, and I think it's getting a little bit worse. There were times where there you could obviously see where there were no drugs available due to money, due to whatever availability, mm -hmm. and you can you can tell, you know. But the bottom line is, she is still presenting herself in a way that I personally don't understand why you would want to present yourself like this. Um, you know, I, my only thing with her is that if she would get even an ounce of, of self-respect, some of this might change. Might. Yeah. Might. But it, it's, it's not going to happen. You know, it's not, it, it's getting harder and harder to watch. And it's, it's a sad life. Would anybody want to live that life? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. And I, you know, why would you want so publicly to so publicly mm -hmm. to everybody to know that you stink down there? It did not even seem to, to, to phase her. It did not even, probably you know, not the first time she, she goes online that. and starts searching all these products, like, you know, to clean herself to clean out. Herself. How about, how about the dude gave you soap gonorrhea? Soap and water. Soap and water is a good start you know? for bathing. I mean, come it's on, very good. come on. Then you don't need so much But she doesn't perfume. seem phased by it, you know? And sure enough, look at how many views that got. So, maybe she knows something we don't. She knows don't what know. she's doing. She's just <laughs> she not doing does. it as well as she used to. Yeah, yeah, no, she's not. Her channel's messy. No, it's boring. She can't it's... coast anymore on old mukbangs. No, she's she gonna... can't. No, and she definitely thinks that she's above losing everything. She thinks that it's not going to happen. Everybody's expendable. Continue doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. It will happen. It will, you know, and um, again, it's with that attitude, you know. So, anyway, my two cents. Thank you, Mark. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. <laughs> Bye. We're going to wrap up here, I think. Okay. So, so what have we wrought? What is, what is, what's going on here? Um, I think going into next week, people have said it's boring because it's repetitive, and it has been repetitive. If she's going to dip back into the maybe Nat or I, maybe we aren't, it's to the point where no one cares because no one can get a good theory about what's going on because there's so many contradictions to what's said so you just got to shoot from the hip and think hey she's desperate he'll fuck anything she has money he has none they're in love <laughs> and that and that was enough that was enough for Chantal she wants so little for herself like Mark said some self-respect she wants so little for herself granted she can only get so much but no one has to settle for someone who they would even remotely call abusive assuming it was true so thank you for all watching. Thank you for being here. Please do subscribe. Hit the notification bell. You'll get alerts when we have new videos and when we go live. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram. Our email address and contact info is below as well. Thank you again. We will catch up with you tomorrow. We are going live at 6 p.m. Eastern. It's our usual open chat. Booty Beauty comes up. Other folks come up too. And a lot of times we just bullshit and hang out. It's really chill. We have good mods. So come by if you get a chance, okay? Thanks for watching. Bye. Say goodbye, Mark. Bye, everybody. Bye.